Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayil. Today is Sunday, February the 9th, 2014. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today being Sunday, I want to encourage all of you to go to your respective churches and worship God with fellow Christians. There is a very special blessing when we come together in the name of the Lord to worship God. The Holy Spirit is there in a special way to anoint us, to feed us, to strengthen us, to follow Jesus Christ all the way. So let us encourage one another to go to our respective churches and worship God and be filled with the Spirit to live this whole week in the best way possible, in the way of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord. Let me invite you to continue our meditation on the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 14. Today, let us focus in on verse 15. There, the apostles coming to Jesus and saying, Lord, it is a remote place. It's a wilderness. People have been with you for a long time. Now, before the day is over, send them away, that they may go to the neighboring villages and buy some food for themselves. Yes, that is our tendency. Whenever we see a problem, we try to find our own solutions. Yes, it was getting late and people are hungry. Therefore, what is the solution according to our own <coughs> understanding? Send them away that they may find some food in the neighboring villages. Whenever we have a problem, immediately we say, if it is a physical problem, let's go to the doctor and find some solution. If it's an emotional problem, let's go to somebody to talk it over, a counselor, and overcome the problem. If it's a financial problem, immediately we'll say, let's go to the lenders and lend some money, use the credit card. These are our solutions, brothers and sisters, what is important for us is to talk to Jesus from the very beginning. Whenever we encounter a problem, we have to say, Lord, we have this problem. What do you want us to do? How do you want us to handle? Remember, we are yoked with Christ. Jesus is with us, around us. He's inside us. He wants to help us with the solutions beyond our understanding. So how great it is for us to go to Jesus. Let us encourage one another to go to Jesus first, whenever we encounter a problem. Suppose someone tells us, well, my relative has this illness and we are going to the doctor. Let's encourage the person. Let's go to Jesus first and seek his counsel with regard to how and which doctor we should go. There are so many medical approaches, medical interventions, and we need the guidance of Jesus. When we are dealing with the economic problem again, let's go to Jesus. Let's encourage others to go to Jesus first and receive his solution, his wisdom, his understanding, and he will guide us in the best way. He is for us. If he is for us, who can be against us? He loves us more than we can ever love ourselves. He wants us to come to him. Remember, Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. 
Precious Lord, we thank you for giving us this beautiful Sunday morning. Precious Lord, continue to inspire us to go to our respective churches and worship you with fellow Christians. Lord Jesus Christ, enable us to come to you with our struggles and problems and difficulties. Enable us to come to you with praise for all the good things you have already poured upon us, the blessings you have in store for us. O oh, Holy Spirit, continue to inspire us to follow the way of the Lord rather than the way of the law, way of the world. O oh, Lord, guide us, inspire us, enable us to follow your way. We ask this blessing, Father. In the name of Jesus, Amen.